one fuck, side. It's it, it will not go to 100%, so it will not break your posture. Yeah. But it will always go to 99% at least. Wow. Uh, even if you parry like on time, and then you just need to be able to stay on that 99% by doing everything perfect from that moment forth. Yep, yep. It's like the way that I did it, I took that fight. Do you want to know actually or not? Because otherwise, yeah, I'm give not gonna tell no, you. please do, please okay. do. So, the way that I fought Owl um, is I mainly kept my distance from him. So, you know, the way that fall, he Emery's. does throw the two shurikens and then he jumps up in the air and he slams forward. Yeah. So, I would dodge the two shurikens and then as soon as he would jump forward towards me, I would dodge aside, jump behind him, and then instantly do my mortal draw twice and mm -hmm. then take my distance again. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what I did throughout the entire first and second phase. Sometimes he throws one shuriken and then does a huge slash attack, which you can dodge. You don't need to jump. You can dodge that attack. Uh, um, and okay. I would do the same for that one as well. So if he throws one shuriken, and deflect the shuriken, he does the slash, dodge the slash, Fanatic, thank and you. then you do the mortal jaw. Drum. Okay. That, that's how I did it. But it takes time. Like, I think that fight still took me, like, phase one and two, because I really want to, because, you know, I did Deathless, so I couldn't use Resurrect either. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that fight took me, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. But I, feel like I that's, managed to do it. I feel like every time it takes me 10 minutes. But, you know what? I just played a different game. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII. And I had no idea that there was like, like for me, I thought Sekiro was like kind of the longest boss fights I've ever been in, um, especially yeah. like Gorilla. I feel like Gorilla took me like a full five minutes. And then I recently started playing Final Fantasy VII and there was one like fight segment area that I was in, I felt like 20 minutes. And I'm like, holy fuck, these battles are so long. And then someone told me like some boss fights can go up to an hour and that just blew my fucking mind. The fact that you could be like Girl. fighting for your life for an hour, like I definitely have to puke if you're gonna put me in a fight for an hour in a video game like that. Holy shit. I mean, I watched, your, I watched the Final Fantasy, I think for a bit when I was still at my mom's like in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. I, I watched it for a bit. And I must say like, I never got into Final Fantasy due to the um, turn take that you have with the fighting style that it used to have. Yeah. Which is funny. Like I really couldn't get into that due to that. But I love Pokemon, you know. Playing but that's also hard. turn, yeah. That's also bad. But I grew up with that. I would, but if I were you, you would like it. Final, now that I saw the new Final Fantasy, and due to watching your stream as well, and I saw the fighting style, I was like, oh, this actually looks quite interesting. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like super excited. Like after I finished the last session, I like got up and I was like, t I called like one of my girlfriends doesn't play video games, but she listens to me whenever I play games, so I'll call her and be like, let me tell you about this. I called her and I was like, bro, what if I could get so good at being uh, a Final Fantasy player, I could compete in competitions. And the cool part about it is you're controlling multiple people. And I was so like excited about the game style that I was like, I'm gonna get so good and become a professional Final Fantasy player. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Because it feels like tactics. It feels like tactics. It's, it feels like a, it's a very tactic game, which is cool. It's like I recently finished Thymesia, which is a Souls-like inspired game. It's not too long. It's about like eight hours. I, I did it on like 100%. Thank you, Wooly Mammoth. And, um, but that game, it sometimes got me very frustrated due to Memories. certain <laughs> mechanics or like input controls not working properly. Like I would click on dodge and my character would just stand there and eat the hammerhead. And I'm like, cool. Um, but it's also only created by seven people. So it means oh, wow. was created by seven people. And the only negative thing that I had, to, like, I wouldn't even say like negative. The only frustrated thing I sometimes have was the input rating. Everything else is absolutely gorgeous about that game. I really enjoyed mm -hmm. it. I'm gonna try that. And I heard also recently that- um, Final Fantasy guys, Tactics. What is that new game called? That's kind of like a competitor. Like people say that it's gonna be a competitor to Elden Ring. Thanks, it's Amelia It's also Rose. a Souls-like game. It's called the- Oh, I heard about this. Um, The Forbidden, the, the Lords of the Fallen. There Lords we go. Lords of the Thank Fallen, you, there we yeah. go. Lords of the Fallen. I I don't really watch trailers anymore of games nor movies. I like to go in blind. Put some posts. Um, put some but tactics. Lords of the Fallen. I will definitely be playing that. I will definitely. Put Final be Fantasy that. Tactics in my Discord, please, guys. Also, under suggestions, if you can. You ordered vodka? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! All right, let's do it. You want to start you got now? That influence on me, girl. <laughs> 
I would say I would say the same thing to you, but you're making me better at gaming and teaching me stuff. So you're a good influence on me. Yeah. <laughs> we even out, so we're like medium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Amelia no, Rose. Well, honestly, I, I really. Um, if you'd want to be my mod, you can tell that, me, and I would like, really happily make you a mod. That you Rose. wanted to Amelia start playing Rose. games with me because I really have been. I joined when you were doing Elden Ring, and then you went on to Sekiro also whilst I was doing my challenge run. And I'm so I'm so just really glad and happy that you wanted to do the collaboration. I mean, we're on the third one now, and I'm having a really good blast, like playing Elden Ring again, especially with you. It, yeah, it's been a really good blast. I've been having so much fun, and since I started playing with you, now all I'm getting is people like, "When are you gonna play it again?" Because I think we just are the funniest fucking pair on this game. Like, we do the funniest shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have so much fun laughing. That because I remember, I'm going to be really honest with you. Doing step row. Darf, thank you so much for this. <laughs> yeah, I got, what are you doing, step row? For... <laughs> Darf, thank you so much for the step way to tier one, mate. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, what was I going to say? See, this is what I mean, half a brain cell. Um, I, I was so nervous for our first collab. Because I know, like, you you have a lot of viewers as well. Yeah. And then I'm already, like, nervous as to, like, you know, like, I usually have average of 150, maybe 200 people in stream. And I'm just like, oh, my God, what if they're going to hate me? What if this? What if that? And I'm, I start overthinking things. And I also, I'm just like, are you know, because you talk to each other in chat. But when you talk to each other in a voice call, it's completely different yeah. because it's like an instant response. And I'm like, are we going to vibe? I hope we're going to vibe. And <laughs> right. And I also think I'm like, oh, my God, we're annoyed of each other. Imagine that. But I'm also like, we're both friends with Edie. Like, I, I love Edie to bits. Like, I've known her for such a long time. And I'm like, well, you know, you're good friends with Edie. I'm good friends with Edie. Yeah, I think our personalities should match. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. One day yeah. you'll be teaching me how to do a Doom game. Definitely not Deathless, though. <laughs> you, you want to do Ultra Nightmare? I mean, you could do Nightmare. You could do it. No, never, never, no. It looks like so busy. It looks like there's like a lot of shit happening at once. Oh, yeah, no, you don't, you don't, like, I don't even blink. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> it's like i have a command in my stream that is like exclamation point blink that people spam for me to remember that i need to blink because yeah. there is so much shit going on and you know that's the thing with ultra nightmare and ultra nightmare if you die your save file instantly gets deleted and you need to start from the way like all the way at the beginning again oh shit Oh shit! Yeah, that sucks. So I did that for so 2016, get, which I would is be like, like actually harder than Eternal. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like I would also be extremely pissed if somebody like what if somebody gifted me a sub and that'd be the time I'd fuck up. Like, I don't think I don't know how you you still talk to chat. I don't know how you how you talk to chat too because I would be oh. getting so pissed at people if they like made a noise and then it fucked me up because for me to have true concentration, I need to be like quiet. You know, well, so I'd be like, oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> like, Sekiro Deathless, uh, 30 bosses, no resurrect, took me a total of 95 hours to complete. Dark Souls 3 uh, Deathless took me six total runs to complete. Um, and Doom, e Doom 2016, 128 hours. And then now I'm on Doom Eternal uh, oh for Ultra God. Nightmare. But I'm, I'm thinking actually of doing a demigod run, and a demigod run is all modern Doom games. So Gringo, that is thank Doom you so much for all the gifted subs. Doom Eternal, plus the DLC gifted, of Doom you. Eternal, which more is two gifted. DLCs. Mr. Frosty, thank you for the hundred bitties. On Ultra Nightmare. Whoa. So <sighs> if I would do Doom 2016 on Ultra Nightmare, and then I'm gonna do Doom Eternal. If I would die in Doom Eternal, I need to redo 2016 again as well. Oh so no, I, no, 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 no. If I get to the last DLC in Eternal and I would die, I need to restart at 2016. Whoa, you like, you, are you a little bit of a masochist? Because that's like, you're putting it in here. They're put, that's like a, that's like a, that's like, I, I think I'd be nervous just to start doing that. I'd be like, today's gonna be hard and suck. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Today is gonna Amelia. be hard for me and not in a good way. Yeah, I think I, uh, I seem to enjoy pain. I must, uh, well, 
I think the thing for me is right that I, I so I have OCD so I need to do when it comes to planning things and doing things and setting everything up and controlling I heard everything in my life it's I really fucking it annoying sure. don't get me wrong off it but cleaning as well like things need to be cleaned in a certain way otherwise I have to redo it and it's annoying I'm getting better now it's not as bad anymore as it used to be <laughs> But it's still bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think due to always having to be in control with things, with certain things, I just seem to enjoy the pain. <laughs> I just take it. <laughs> you like the win you like the challenge. I like yeah, that's the thing. Like I used to do variety streaming, and then I remember like last year, um, I did Dark Souls 3 for the first time, and Chad convinced me to do it. Because I once played Duel, uh, sorry, Dark Souls 1 on the Xbox when I was like 15. I couldn't get past the first box, the boss. I almost broke my TV, my Xbox, and my controller. And I was like, I'm never touching a Souls game in my life anymore, ever. Mm. And then Chad convinced me to play Dark Souls 3, and I fell in love with Dark Souls 3. I and think Souls games are the best. I, I,